It's good to see you. Today we are at Twin Deer Antique Mall and Design. And this place has some really cool stuff in it. So we're gonna walk around in there and see what we can find. Oh, look at the little ram. It's a little sheep. He's got on a mask. <laughs> now he is made out of twisted metal. These are all rusty pieces of twisted metal. Isn't that cool? Yeah, he's not cheap, but uh, he's that had to take a long time to make. Look at his horns. Ooh, very fancy. Look how they curl around like that. I bet he's heavy too. Oh, look at his little tail. He even has a little tail made out of twisted metal. And over here we have a spinning wheel. This is really nice. A nice little piece of decorative stuff. That's not too much. Not too bad. Some of these things are hundreds of dollars. And over here we have a nice Shipman organ from 1910 from High Point, North Carolina. Which is where we are right now. It's very cool. Yeah, so stay and don't play with it. It's very old. Wow. Very neat. That's a very nice, I guess you call that a china cabinet or a curio cabinet. They have lots of um, different types of uh, furniture in here. And over here, now we have all different booths. These booths are all uh, rented by different people. So they're all going to be a little different. Here is a can of tobacco from Sir Walter Raleigh. Old can. A little cop car. <laughs> it's kind of like the one from the Andy Griffith show, sort of. We come over here. Now, th this booth is really cool. Look, it's David. It's a giant, <laughs> a giant bust of David. Ooh, <laughs> it's massive. It's huge. And here is a zinc top French table. $1,400, my goodness. And here we have, yeah, so David is cheaper than the table. I'd rather have the David than the table. I don't know where I'd put it, but look how big he is. He's big. I wanted to show you these tusks back here, but look, here's a, a hand chair. It's made out of a solid piece of wood. Yeah, it's a little, a little pricey. I don't, I don't think I'll be getting that, but, and here is a cool little curved set of chest of drawers. It's from China. Now it's $750. Uh, it's very unique. And you'll notice that every drawer has a different uh, pull on it. And I, I can't read the characters, but you can see that they're all they're all different. And um and they may no, they're a little twisted. Some of them are and I may be turning them sideways, I don't know, but yeah, they're all different. It's a neat little curved cabinet. It's very, very nice. A little tiny uh, web chair back here. But yeah, I wanted to show you these tusks back here. They're made out of cow bone. And there's Jesus. High five, Jesus. What's up, man? Lots of Jesuses back here. But this is made from carved bovine bone. Look at the detail in that. So it's just carved. And the pieces are all put together on these gigantic tusks and they're very expensive $3,800 for the pair um, but can you imagine how long yeah look at that $3,800 and it's made of bovine bone um, but can you imagine how long it took to make these they're they're huge and you get two of these tusks they're very tall and the carving goes all the way around from the top to bottom of both tusks that's very cool. It's, uh, gosh, that had to take forever to cut the bone and fit it to the tusks and then carve it all. That's just amazing. Um, and we have some little vases. Here's a cool little porcelain ship here. A banjo. Uh, there are several banjos in here. And we have some dogs carved out of wood. A little, a little, uh, Dogs. The pair is eighteen hundred dollars. You see their faces here. I don't know who owns this booth, but I bet they're really interesting. They have some interesting items here. Very cool, cool items for sale. You come over here. Oh, look! There's a little suit of armor down there. Here's a chair that looks like a face. 
That's neat. I don't know that I want to pay that for it, but it's pretty cool. I just bought an air conditioner, so I'm broke. Oh, here's a leather rhinoceros. That's interesting. Oh, and here's Jesus, and he's wearing shorts. Jesus! He's wearing little, look like jean shorts. And we have a metal horse from India for $995. It's pretty cool looking. I like that. Oh, and here's another, uh, like a bust of a horse. It's not as big as the David. It's cool. And this is a very ornate jewelry cabinet. It is also out of my price range. $850. It's really cool though, I have to say. It's very fancy. So we're going to go out of that booth and go look in another person's booth. Here we have a bunch of insulators. See? A bunch of those. These are priced a little high compared to some. Some of them are cheaper than these. And here is a bottle that contained Mountain Dew syrup. That's an old bottle there. That's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little, little high, but if you knew a Mountain Dew fan, they might like it. Here are some woodworking tools. Different types of things for that. Um, there's a lot of Coca-Cola paraphernalia in here. There's a Sprite sign back there and some axes and tools. Some old tools. Up here we have a really old phone. This is kind of like Gertrude's phone. Um, that one actually might be older than hers. I don't know. That's a nice old telephone there. You can find a lot of old phones in here. And here we have a little coat rack made out of a pair of pliers. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's very unique. A little iron pig there. And here we have some furniture and some rugs. And we have some old pictures in here, too. Um, yeah, this guy, this guy cracks me up. It's like you just told him about 2020, and he's looking at you like, are you serious? And I got really? <laughs> and then you'd have to say, yeah, but there's more. <laughs> like, my goodness. He's just over at that picture. He just looks so disgusted. Here is an old TV. Now, there was another TV in this booth um, that had a big thing under it. This is an old Motorola TV. That's really cool. It has little knobs on it. Look at that. My goodness. Motorola. Yeah, they had a different type. I guess somebody bought it. This is a different one. It's sitting right where the other one was. It's only $95. Here's another phone. Oh, it's a cordless. Y'all know they had cordless phones back then? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they have some vintage clothing in here. There's another banjo. They have these vintage clothes, and they're actually pretty cheap. I was looking at them the other day. Like, you have this little, I guess it's like a little coat dress. Uh, this vintage wool blend coat dress. Um, and none of these were terribly expensive. Like this thing is, um, what does it say? $10. It's only $10 for that. Um, here's a little purse. It's a cute little, a little bag there. Over here we have a vanity. I believe that's Queen Elizabeth, but I could be wrong. It looks like her. There's, let me see. I look on the back, but there's nothing on the back, so... I think that's who that is. I could be wrong. It may just be somebody's grandma. I don't know. Here we have some actual saddle shoes. Some real deal saddle shoes. Um, and we have some old pictures. I'll have to look at these old pictures. You know, having your picture taken back then was a big deal. And you had to sit still. Here's a chandelier. And, um... We have lots of little chairs over here, all kinds of, all kinds of little furniture items. And we have, we can get some American flags. There's an old Coke sign. Well, sometimes it's hard to tell if they're actually old or not. Like, here's a leopard bowl. It's ceramic. That's a very 
interesting little doohickey there. <laughs> oh, here's cat. Kind of looks like pumpkin a little bit. Not not a lot, but a little bit. There's a huge uh, set of shelves. Yeah, you never know what you're going to find in here. It's already a little different from the last time I was in here. There are a few things missing that were here before. And some new things that I didn't see last time. The, I'm pointing at the speakers because the music was super duper loud in this part. God, it was awful. The music is so loud in this store. Here we have, a, it's like an old projector. Ooh. That's cool. I don't think I need a projector, but it's neat though. I like the little settee, that dainty looking little couch. <laughs> um, over here, we have a form. Like if you were making a dress or something, you could use this to put it on. And we have some necklaces. Here's a nice little faux pearl necklace here. And a pretty bracelet. Look at this cool little bracelet. It's only $5. It's very pretty. And we have a really nice woven bag. That looks like something from the 70s. And a fur hat. And a cute little kerchief here. That's, uh, I think it's, that's pretty cheap. And back here in this back part, what do we have back here? Here is a, I thought that was a bird's nest on that goat's head, or the goat, God almighty, that sheep. I thought it was a bird's nest. It still looks like one. I guess it's not. And back there we have a picture of a half of a pig for some reason. And a cool jar of buttons. And that I like, that's neat. And a jar of thread. Hmm. So you have a lot of wide open spaces between the booths. It's a huge building. It doesn't look like it from the outside, but it goes way back. Here's a, like a wooden pew, a wooden bench, and a gong. Lord, if I hadn't, it's from pa Paste. I don't know how you say that. It's not terribly loud. I wish you could hear it, but the Beach Boys were singing their hearts out, and I copyright strike. I can't. I can't have music in my video. If I hadn't just bought a an air conditioner, I'd love to have this gong. Look, it's half price. It's only $150 on sale. You could have a gong. I could put it in the in the house whenever I'm got dinner ready. I can just bang the gong. <laughs> uh, I always wanted a gong. You're the cool lady. She can hold your necklaces and whatnot. That's a pretty pendant. Very sparkly. And some more necklaces. Little different types of pendants on these. Oh, a very tall uh, vase. <laughs> or a bong, whatever. That's a neat desk. Looks like it'd be heavy, but it's really cool. There's a picture of some people and a baby. A man holding a little baby and they're looking at it, I guess. That's a nice clock. You can find lots of uh, different types of clocks in here. Grandfather clocks, over the hill clocks, just wall clocks. Here, this, this booth has some Coca-Cola memorabilia in it and an old ice tray. Check that out. What does that say? It's just an old ice tray. And you can pull the little handle and uh, break the ice cubes loose when you're ready to use them. Some more Coca-Cola memorabilia, some little vehicles and things. Oh, I love this booth. Here we have an old um, portrait camera. Look at that. Can you imagine? Now we have something that fits in our pocket that will take better pictures than this. It's got all kinds of things on it. You turn it. You have to adjust it, and we have cords for some reason. Yeah, sixteen hundred dollars, but that is really wouldn't that be a cool decorative piece in your house, especially if you love photography? 
Todak. That's the last name of the guy that owns the booth. I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Um, Olive is talking to me. Sorry. But you have all kinds of little knobs and things that you adjust for the portrait camera. A little, some little brushes for something. So little, these brushes are cool. They're $19 for these little brushes. I guess they're to clean the cameras or something. I don't, I don't actually know. Here's a Kodak stuff to carry your, uh, it's like a butt pack. You can put all your camera stuff in that. It's huge. And then over here, oh, we have a little lamp and it has like a roll of film and a camera, but it's a lamp. And down here we have a desk set with a camera on it. Look at little, it has little pins and an old camera. It's pretty awesome. Oh, here's, here's the man that owns the booth. That's him. Uh, the camera collector. Yeah, so this is his stuff, and he was in Our State Magazine, Life and Pictures. So this is some of his stuff. So he's obviously really big into photography, but we also have an Underwood manual typewriter in here. That's really cool. These are hard to use, too. You really have to press down all the keys. My mother learned to type on a typewriter like that. We have some more old cameras in here. I don't really know a lot about cameras, to be honest, but this guy's got a lot of different types of cameras. <laughs> really old ones. These look like the ones in the movies that the reporters would use when they were taking pictures, you know, with the flash bulb. You can get this one for, what does that say, $125? I don't know if that's good or not, because I don't know anything about ca cameras. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, we have some little ones here. Um, just all kinds of stuff. Got some more over here. He also has some clocks. We have some clocks back here. And a cool lamp that has a camera on it. And we have an over-the-hill clock. I like these types of clocks. He has several of those. There's another little camera lamp back there. Here are some of the little some of the smaller cameras. Now this is cool. This is super cool. Oh, hang on a minute. I'm, oh, that light just came on. I don't know if it was mo a motion sensor light, but it just came on. This looks like, do you remember the old rolls of Kodak 400 film? It is a camera bag that looks like a roll of film. It's only $39. It is super cool. I love that bag. If I were into photography at all, I would get that. You could get a Mickey Mouse alarm clock. Just all kinds of stuff. I mean, this guy's really interesting. And we have some vintage hair dryers back there. There's one. And here's another one. A chrome hair dryer. It's neat. Yeah. Oh, this furniture. Oh, look at this bag. I don't do fashion. I'm fashion. Coco Chanel. That's a cool makeup bag. I like that. It's only $8. That's a cool little bag. I wanted to show you this furniture. It looks like it is straight out of Pee Wee's Playhouse. I love this furniture because it is so crazy. Like you have, it's like a fainting couch or a divan or whatever you call it. That thing is just cool. And this chair, now this purple chair, it's huge. It is massive. It may not look that big, but it sits kind of low to the floor and it's made out of purple satin. I love this chair. I sat in it the other day. It's actually very comfortable. I love this furniture. It is so crazy. But you have this swoopy little divan thing there or a fainting couch. You have a plastic coffee table in gray. And there's even more. We have more little fainting couches over here and giant tassels. It's like you took Liberace's place and crossed it with Pee Wee's Playhouse and you end up with furniture like this. You can also get a very fancy table and six chairs. Final clearance, $14.97 for all of it. And it's solid wood too. There's, you get six very elaborate chairs and a very nice table for $14.97. That's pretty cool. And we have a headboard that is 
it's padded and you get so you get the headboard and the footboard what does that say four hundred dollars I, I don't I can <laughs> I got my glasses on but I'm having a hard time reading it <laughs> so over here we have a can of Charles chips y'all remember those that they didn't have they didn't have those where I uh, grew up well, those are goods potato chips Ralph good I'm not familiar with that yeah, I knew people that would buy Charles chips, but we didn't have them where I grew up. And over here we have a little pillow, and it looks like a little um, postcard. Greetings from North Carolina. That's pretty cool. And this table has all kinds of things on it, like vintage trains and some children's books. We even have a little toy stove with these little metal plates. Now, the stove is also made of metal, and it opens right here. I remember the daycare center I used to go to had a little toy stove like that. It was pretty interesting. And over here, we have a cute little cookie jar. It says Happy Camper on it. It's a little ceramic cookie jar. Now, my son would have loved this train pillow. Advice from a train. He used to love trains when he was small. And what advice do we have? Stay on track. Be in it for the long haul. Whistle while you work. Let off a little steam. Pull your fair share. Be on time. And enjoy the ride. Yes, he loved trains. He would have loved that pillow. Now he's older and too cool for stuff like that. It's kind of sad. And over here, let me look at all these tassels. Now, in the mines version you get to hear what I said about these tassels I'm not going to repeat it here you got to go to mines but if you see me swinging them you probably know what I said you got to go to the mines video if you want to know what I said yeah now this store also has booths that have art in it um, some local artists will put some of their paintings in here like this one that's very cool it looks like an oil slick or something and now this right here, it looks like metal, but it's actually canvas. It's kind of 3D, and it looks like a little swing in a tree. Very pretty. I like that. A lot of the paintings in here look the same, though. You'll see all these different booths, and I think they all studied the same technique or something, and now they sell their stuff in this store. Um, now, oh, I really like this little chest of drawers back here with the little wicker shell, the little wicker drawers. That is really cool. I kind of want to get that. And it's 25% off, so that's even better. I really I really do like that. I've, I've kind of thought about getting that for my younger son's room to put his Legos in. I may do it, too. Oh, oh, oh. And back here, we have a bunch of uh, vintage toys. And we have a little rocking horses and tennis rackets. But back here is my favorite thing in this whole store. I love this the most. It's a, It looks like an oversized box of animal crackers. You remember those? When, and the boxes of animal crackers look like this. Barnum's Animals. And it even has the little string like the box of animal crackers. This was an old display for a grocery store. It was just an old grocery store display. And I love it so much. I want to get this and take it home. It's, it is $40, but it's super cool. I've never seen anything like it. Um, and I would love to get this and take it home and put it up. But that's my favorite thing in, in this whole store. And that's a cool picture of the pier. But you can also get oversized lollipops in here. They're made out of pool noodles, and they have fabric of different colors wrapped around them. But they're made to look like big uh, lollipops. And they're half price, so you could get one for seven fifty. You have some little dolls back there, all kinds of just children's type stuff in this booth. Now we are in the very back of the store right now. Um, this is a cool picture. I, I don't know who that is, but I think that's cool. Um, it's a little bit more spread out back here, you know, but you can get booth space back here as well. This picture I love. This is a painting of a blue ribbon. And that is much harder to paint than it appears to be. That's actually pretty difficult because you have to get the layers right when you paint that. And you have to do the swoops and the layers just right or it won't look right. 
and I actually thought about buying that but there's no price tag on it so I don't know how much it is um, so I, I just left it there I wasn't that motivated but I thought it was really neat okay over here we have an old uh, Tom's uh, vending machine where you can buy packs of crackers we'll come back to that in a minute there are people over there we can get a metal Kawasaki gas tank or this these are for motorcycles um, or it could have been for a three-wheeler. I don't know. But yeah, this, you can find a little bit of everything in here. <laughs> here we have a, a tailgate from a Studebaker truck. And it's been tacked onto a piece of wood. That'd be cool to put up on the wall. And here is a tail light from a Plymouth. That's chrome on it. Yeah, and a really nice green velvet padded headboard. And a picture of an old Corvette. Now these are some old bottles, and these are only a dollar each. Um, I've, I've never heard of this brand, Byer, Byerly's. I don't know what that is. This one is, what is this? Suncrest. I don't know that brand either. I don't know where these bottles came from. I don't, I don't know these brands. Uh, Caravan. I don't know that brand. I don't know. Now that's Royal Crown Cola, RC Cola. I do know that. When I lived in Illinois, there were RC Cola vending machines everywhere. Here's another RC Cola bottle. I don't know anybody down here that drinks RC Cola. Here's a Neha bottle. Neha uh, sodas. I love Neha grape. It's really good. Here's another Caravan bottle. And these are all only a dollar. And here is a brownie bottle, uh, chocolate soda. I remember trying it once and thinking it just tasted watery. Now this is weird. This knee high bottle has a metal thing on it. It looks like the top of a salt shaker. I have no idea what that is. I don't know if it's like a bottle cap that you can put on it to save your drink or what it is. I don't know. It's very odd. Okay, the people moved out of the way. I wanted to show you this vending machine. Now this is a Tom's uh, vending machine full of packs of crackers. Now they're they would line them up in these little trays and you put in your money here and it looks like they were 15 cents and you put your money in and then you pull the knob for the one you want whichever one you want and then you lift this and your snack is going to fall right there yes i remember those they were more than 15 cents i think they were 35 cents and you could also get cigarettes out of vending machines like that when i was a kid but not anymore <laughs> Oh God, I'm old. There was an old toilet back here, but it's gone. I wanted to show you that. That was interesting. A toilet from 1905. All the butts that sat on it are dead now, I reckon. Cats, well, I think so by now. Cats Art Shop. I like this painting right here. That's, that's a really cool painting. That one's cool, too. It's just sort of stuck back here in the corner. I feel bad for it. Nobody sees them back here. We are in the very, very back of the store at this point. Oh, oh, look at, check this out. Now, these are coveralls from Piedmont, which is um, a local company. Oops, I knocked it off. He collects Piedmont stuff. Um, and I, I thought he would like to have these coveralls. Now, they are $60, but I thought it would be a good Christmas present. So don't, if you know him, don't tell him. I kind of thought about getting him these Piedmont coveralls because I know he doesn't have anything like that. Um, yeah, it's just really neat. I think he could wear them too, so I thought that would be a very unique Christmas present. And you can get chairs back here. Lord, you never saw so many chairs. You can get dinette sets. There was a beautiful bed back here, but it looks like it's gone now. Gorgeous bed. I, it was carved wood and very, very nice. Um, okay. Now, over here, let's see. Now, we have some cool stools or some seats over here. They kind of look like E.T.'s face. Like, these are like his eyes or, so, or something. They just like his eyes are bugging out. They just remind me of E.T.'s face. I think they're very neat. You can also get these 12-sided leather and wicker uh, little plant planter thingies here. Two of them for 
And we're back over near Pee Wee's Playhouse again with that crazy furniture. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. Now over here is where I got my measuring cobs. Um, yeah, here's some old Tupperware bowls. You remember these? Oh, we used to use these as cereal bowls when I was a kid. I would eat cereal out of those bowls every day, every morning. But my t measuring cups were right there. Yeah, I'm very happy to have my measuring cups now. <laughs> Okay, so we come over here. There's a very nice uh, set of shelves back there. That's a that's a nice little set. And over here, you can get all the, the uh, rooster stuff you could ever want. We have plates with roosters on them. They're from Hollister, but not the clothing company. That's interesting if you like roosters, I guess. A little puppy dog, a little dog decorative item and they also have carnival glass it's absolutely beautiful look at that oh, I love that stuff especially the bluish tinted carnival glass and here we have uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz and we literally have Glinda the Good Witch not my ex but the actual <laughs> character from the movie and over here is a class picture from 1943 but I have no idea what class that is like I, I don't know doesn't say. And all different types of Fords, like a Model T, a little Roadster. Those little cool cars. Uh, and some different types of signs that you can get in that booth. It's not all old. A lot of stuff in here is not antique, but you know. Here is a leather butterfly chair. I really love it. It's very nice. Yeah, it's it's $150, but it's really cool. I, mean, I wouldn't buy it. It's beyond what I would pay, but yeah, it's um interesting. I like that little dresser there. It's nice. Um, and we are kind of headed back up towards the front of the store. And uh, yeah, this picture back there is funny. Um, I love the little miniature couch. There's another booth that had these little tiny couches. Um, oh, and this picture back here is huge. You could hang it up and make it look like you have a really fancy room just outside of the room you're in. I guess if you wanted to do that. There's a sofa with no back, really. You can't get comfortable on it. There's some jade glass that I walked right past. I kind of wish I hadn't done that. But I saw these lamps. Now these lamps are the coolest things. This guy takes ordinary things and makes lamps out of them. Like you have a, a rifle lamp here. It says a shotgun lamp. Check it out. And it has a shell up at the top. A shotgun shell. And here we have a table. This is a solid glass top table with gears. I like it. But he takes everyday things like shoes and makes a lamp out of them. Or a camera lamp. Here's a lamp made out of a gas nozzle. And see, the sign up here says you're supposed to turn these off when you're done, but people don't. And I turned off a bunch of them last time, but it's kind of hard to find the on-off things sometimes because they're all mixed up back here with these cords. But yeah, I try to turn some of them off, but these are really cool. Here's a lamp that looks like a microphone. And you can even get a ukulele. That's not a lamp. That's just a ukulele. You could probably make a lamp out of it. Now this floor lamp is neat. It's made out of pipes. It has three Edison bulbs on it. Now it is a little pricey, but it's one of a kind. All of his lamps are. And I am just, I am so fascinated by his lamps. I want to meet this person. Uh, his name is John Hoffman, Electric Art of Thomasville. It's just the coolest things. Like here we have one made out of trumpets and I believe that's a clarinet. <laughs> and here's one made out of a blender or a mixer. See the light is down inside the mixing bowl. <laughs> it's just the coolest stuff. There's one that has a hat and shoes, kind of like a, a lineman or something. I don't know. Here's a lamp made out of an oil can. It's just amazing. He just takes everyday things and turns them into lamps. I don't know how he ever got started on that, but it's cool. There's a, a lamp you could put up on the wall that has a trumpet. 
It's fascinating. Now this looks like a super comfortable recliner. I really, I love this. It's soft leather. Oh, I'd love to just lean back in it and take a nap. They probably wouldn't appreciate that though. <laughs> but yeah, we could be in here all day looking at this stuff. Like we have some wind chimes here made out of little teapots. Different types of little teapots or coffee pots and they have forks and spoons on them. Very nice. And back there's a little Christmas tree decorated with vintage kitchen items like whisks and little creamers. And you can buy those. Those are available for sale individually. But they're all on a little Christmas tree. It's a very cute idea. And here's a mesh wreath for you. I didn't make it. But uh, it's a nice little fall wreath. It's a pumpkin spice wreath. What does that say? $48? That's actually not bad. It's a pretty ornate wreath. Reefs aren't, reefs aren't cheap. Yeah, that's a nice one. Whew. I like this basket over here. It's beautiful. It's expensive, but beautiful. It's made of Charleston sweetgrass, which I've never heard of. I'm not right, quite sure what that is. It has a little top to it. It's Charleston sweetgrass. Yeah, it's expensive. <laughs> And a wooden bowl. My grandmother had a wooden bowl like this, except this one is nicer than hers. I have it, actually. It came to my possession. Uh, yeah. It's made of a solid piece of wood, and she used to make biscuit dough in it to feed her husband and six kids. <laughs> hers looked more like this. It was a darker color, and it had been used more. Um, yeah. Here's a pair of antlers. Some little deer antlers. But yeah, her bowl was more like this. Now, this one is actually more than the other one. I think, what is that, $88? Yeah, she'd freak out if she knew she could sell her <laughs> biscuit bowl for that much money. That was a lot of money back when she was alive. She's been gone for many, many years. She died uh, over 40 years ago. And here we have some cans. Remember cans that had pull tabs? This is Hoppin' Gator, which I've never heard of in my life. Or Robin Hood Cream Ale. It also had a pull top. A little, little pop top. I remember when soda cans had those. Now, have you ever heard of this? This is Jack and Jill Gelatin. I've heard of Jello Gelatin, but I am not familiar with Jack and Jill. That I don't know. And you can get some old containers of spices. These look like they'd be movie props, like in an old movie or TV show. And somebody even saved a container of Kobel ice cream. I mean, it's empty, but it was a Kobel Sunday cup. Who saves stuff like that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I like this picture with the harp. That's a pretty cool picture. And back here, we have a huge lamp with Christmas balls in it. Look at those big balls. We got balls stacked up in there, but it's a lamp. I don't know why. Big balls for Christmas. Now over here we have men's clothing. They're, they're not vintage. I, they're just, it's just a rack of men's clothing, I guess, like long sleeve shirts and stuff. Yeah, some pictures. Um, oh, I love the fish. Look at the little fish. Ooh, <laughs> a little stuffed fish. I like that little basket down there too. It's woven. Isn't that pretty? Very nice. Ooh, okay, we're headed back up front. There was a tent there last time, but it's gone now. I don't know. I guess either somebody bought it or they moved it out. I'm not sure which. Yep, some pictures. It's I mean we'd be here all day if we looked at everything, but look at that massive wardrobe. <gasps> Now, that wasn't here last time. That thing is about nine feet tall. It is huge. Yeah, that's new. That wasn't here before. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at the carvings on it. <gasps> yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's from the... I believe the tag said it was from... I'm having a hard time reading it right now, but it was from the 1800s. And if you don't know anything about furniture, that may look expensive, but it's actually, I think that's a good price for that. If you were to pay someone to make that, 
Oh my goodness, I couldn't even guess how much it would cost you. I would say five to eight thousand dollars minimum. It's solid wood and hand carved. I mean it's it's a work of art. It's beautiful. Now here we have some wooden panels. These are nice too. These are carved. Oh, they're on hold. I think uh somebody's going to purchase the panels. They are nice though. In the right house they'd look beautiful. Little upholstered rocking chair. Okay. A nice little bench there. And over here we have some mid-century modern stuff. Glenda the Good Witch bought a little table over here when we were in here together for his mountain house. But oh here's a nice little those weren't in here before. They look like benches out of a bus. And some glasses and a little bar set with a pump. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I really like that coffee table too. That's sweet. <laughs> Very nice. Hmm. All right. That's about it. So, that's just a little look around the Twin Deer Antique Mall. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you again really soon. Bye-bye.